Coming up in the Phantom Cave news, we are talking about the latest Phantom news, DC Marvel news, and normal news today. And let's roll the music. In the Phantom News, there's a new Phantom comic coming out this next week, and it has tie ins to a comic that was published in 2017 or 2018. It has ties into the second part of the second series of the 22nd Phantom, and that also ties into this comic, which was published in, I think. 2017, 2018, somewhere around there, and it's, this comic in particular is all three part stories, the first part particularly is done by Paul Ryan as most people know if you didn't, if you come in late, it, the first part's done by Paul Ryan, but um, yeah, the cover art on this one and all three parts are a trilogy to do with Jamie Johnson and then we have the second series which brings in the characters Kit and Halois as the either two or one 20 second phantoms. Now that comes out on sale on the 7th of May next week. There's very soon on Phantom Cave News we are talking about a review of the century it's going to be the Chronicle Chambers new appeal book bushfire appeal book it's been out for a few months now and I Phantom Cave will be reviewing it very very soon on the channel so stick for that in the near future and also coming in at a very very special thing that we've done in the last few weeks we there's a new interview video coming out I think this coming Monday so check that out at Phantom Cave YouTube channel if you have not subscribed and if you have not subscribed for that video go watch it I'll put the, I'll put a link here somewhere and it's it's so good we the first one we actually did was with Luca Berta and this one I'm not going to tell no one in the community yet until it's released on Monday but I'll give you a little hint it is from it is a phantom artist so that's all of it that's all the hints I can give you and so at Marvel News recently a website called Looper is they well there is a possibility that the future of an Eternals movie is there's a possibility that slim moralities of X Men and Eternals could Eternals could in reintroduce X Men as in their movie, their solo franchise of a movie into the Marvel MCU content for MCU universe and so that comes into it so if you're asking the question who are the Eternals where why and now I'm going to tell you the Eternals are a superhuman race which were brought up millions and millions of years in the comic universe and that somehow has similarities with X-Men somehow and that's because of the X-Gen gene that is in X-Men so you can get that around your head a little bit so yeah it's gonna be so good and the movie I think comes out in uh, 2021 or 2022 something like that and so that also has similarities between it being because in the Eternals universe we have the uh, Diophinians or something like that is an evil evil being to the 
Eternals, so that is where they were experimenting on people and they created this alternate people or being that then when they did it, they are now protecting Earth as we know it in the comic universe and so they've been protecting it for a fair, fair while. Coming in at DC Movie News, we have the latest on DC Movie News. So, James Gunn, right, James Gunn, director of Guardians, Guardians number one, I think number two, and we'll be doing number three soon. So, James Gunn, we all know, most people know, um, he's doing the Suicide Squad number two, it's a sequel to, obviously, Suicide Squad number one, and he apparently, what I'm getting told by the information off the internet, and that can be, um, that can be sometimes alright and not, not alright, but he is apparently was reading every Suicide Squad comic ever since it's been published yet. You, that's a very long history. That's very long history. And that comic in preparation, preparation for um, the movie that he had been directing. Now, I don't know when the Suicide Squad date release date had been renounced but if it's anytime soon well it's going to get pushed forward because of the crisis that we're in right now other and news so normal news today this is a new segment broadcasted by phantom cave we have in fact in normal news supernova sydney and perth has have been pushed forward until August so that they can prepare everything and usually in June I'd be going down to Supernova to check out all the different things and obviously the Phantom the station thing the Phantom expedition and to check out all the Phantom artists and all that sort of stuff like Grange um, Jeremy McPerson, Antonio Lemos, Shane Foley, uh, Chewy Chan, um, Jason Paulos, and Jer uh, Jamie Johnson nearly got that one wrong. So, the Supernova Sydney, Sydney is 7th to 9th, Supernova Perth is 15th to 16th of August. Subscribe, like, share, comment down below if you have any questions about these topics. And as always, keep Phantom Caving on. <laughs>